Pratik, uh, after your MS uh, in UCLA, how did you finally get a job at Amazon Web Services as a software developer? What was the process for the same? It goes back to during my work at UCLA, or like education at UCLA. Um, when I was looking for internships, um, I like in the beginning part of uh, my UCLA journey, I was not able to find an internship uh, like immediately. Um, but like three months down the line, I kept applying. I had, I think, applied to more than 300 or 400 companies till that point. And then um, once like once I had gotten that many applications, there was a high chance of uh, like someone giving up. But yeah, like I, I just kept on going. Like uh, I was sensing like around me also people were doing that. So out of nowhere, suddenly I get a internship of uh, like uh, internship application opportunity for Amazon. So I just uh, asked a senior of mine to refer me. And I think that did make a difference uh, according to me because there are two pools. There's a referral pool and there's a regular pool. So it might not help you get the internship, but it might help uh, the recruiter to filter out your resume quicker. So you might mm -hmm. get the response quicker in a referral pool. So yeah, I asked my senior to refer me at AWS and then actually I asked him to refer me at Amazon. Um, like it's not a different entity for internships at least. And then I got an internship uh, callback. So once I had the callback, uh, I, like they mentioned that, okay, you you will be having like three rounds. Okay, so finally your application got accepted at least. That's great. Uh, but then what happened uh, next? Like, you know, uh, what was the interview process and how did the Amazon, how did you get selected into Amazon Web Services finally? Yeah, yeah. So um, the interview process mainly had like three rounds. Um, first one was a technical uh, assessment and a debugging round. Uh, that's usually uh, when people, like the, the company will have um, questions set and you have to debug where exactly uh, the code is going wrong something like that. So yeah, like mm -hmm. that was like a behavioral plus technical round kind of thing. Um, the next round, if you clear that was the online assessment itself in which you will be given like a medium or hard uh, lead code question. Um, I had like two of them and I had to complete it within one hour and that submit it uh, basically uh, given that it passes all the test cases. Once that was done, uh, I waited, like I waited for the third round uh, invite, which was a personal interview. So in the personal interview, um, there will be an actual like software developer, or it can be even the software development manager who will be taking your interview. And then um, that will be like a personal coding round in which you will be given a lead code, medium or hard again, uh, a question in that terms. And uh, there'll be, checking how you think, uh, how is it that you approach a problem? Um, do you directly give the optimized solution? I would suggest give a brute force first, try to work through that to an optimized solution. And then they would also like have additional questions on what's the space time complexity? Um, can you make this more optimized? Uh, is there some other data structure that you can use in this terms, which is similar in optimization, but it can be easier for readability or something like that. So all these things are like post interview questions can be asked. And one quirky thing about Amazon is, uh, we do believe uh, a lot on leadership principles. Um, you can find out Amazon leadership principles anywhere on like the web, but there are like a lot of leadership principles, which we believe that will help you grow in your career as well as make a difference for the customers as well. So yeah, that's something that is integrated into the interview as well. So yeah, those were the things kind of, uh, which helped me, uh, get shortlisted and then get an offer for an internship, um, at AWS. So after that, uh, what, so what was the preparation that you did to get selected like before the interview? Yeah. So I re I think, I, uh, what really helped me was, uh, doing at least like couple of competitive coding problems as well as like, uh, uh, just studying through, uh, high level design documents and stuff like that, uh, on a daily basis. 
recurring practice is i think the key uh, which helps you think in the right direction uh, so yeah like that is what helped me also i would suggest like if you are able to uh, get the lead code premium uh, it really helped me a lot because i could find out the top interview questions per company uh, which mm -hmm. is something that you kind of understand over time. Okay. What are the type of questions that, uh, uh, like people in this company ask about, and, um, it might not help all for all the companies, but yeah, it can like in a general way it can. And also just read, like if, even if you don't solve a question, right, just read through the solution, what they provide, like there will be a lot of discussion going on, uh, be like below every question, just read through it, understand what people are doing, uh, what are, what is their thinking? All those things mm -hmm. so that really helped me a lot and um, even just going to a career fair and just pitching yourself right like pitching what you have done in the past what is it that you're looking for that really helped me it really helped me get get confidence in speaking with someone new um and explaining my side of things to them so yeah what i would suggest is whenever you go to a career fair uh, this is some some trick that i i was like told by my seniors so go to a company which you know is not hiring you first uh, go to that company uh, for example there can be some companies which are only hiring international uh, sorry they are only hiring uh, citizens let's say uh, american mm -hmm. citizens so they would not hire you but uh, you can go there pitch your idea like or your yourself to them like pitch your resume to them and um, it's fine. They will say, oh, like after reading through it, you, they'll be like, oh, are you an international student? Sorry, we are not sponsoring or whatever. But you have gotten that experience there um, of speaking to someone new. And then you go to the company that you actually want to go to. So that really helped me. So yeah, that's something that, all, oh, yeah, <laughs> just a tip or trick you can. Oh, that's great. And that's very clever, I must say. So <laughs> apart from that, any other advice? for people, you know, who have done their MS and they are looking for an internship or a job, any others advice? Yeah, like go try to look for referrals first before applying to the job position itself. That really helps. Um, also curate your resume based on the job. Uh, I can't stress enough how much that helps. For example, if you are applying for a full stack development role and you are going ahead, ahead with the ML, ML resume, it won't help you. Because mm -hmm. they are not looking for an ML engineer there. But if you are going for a computer vision uh, role there and you are pitching ML related resume there, it can like kind of help you out there. So like that is something that I realized. So I had like multiple uh, formats of my resume done um, in which each, like you would do multiple projects, right? Anyways, you can't list them out on the same resume. So mm -hmm. yeah, like I just had different resumes for different kind of roles. So that really helped me. Okay. What are you doing for the community to, you know, uh, help students who are preparing for masters and they want to pursue masters in the USA? So can you explain about that initiative of yours? Sure. Yeah. Um, so yeah, like taking cues from my journey itself, like how I was applying to universities, um, there was like a minimal or no support, uh, for what to expect next. Like for example, you would apply to a university, right? And then you don't have no idea. Okay. What should I expect next until the university reaches back? Or is there anything I should do in this, like in, in the meantime, uh, to better utilize my time? Um, not just that once let's say you get an admit, um, I have no idea. Like I figured out most of the things after, like what to do after coming to the U S on my own, it was really mm -hmm. like going into an uncharted ter territory, um, facing challenges, learning from mistakes. You would make mistakes if you are going into like unknown situation, right? Like there can be mistakes. You will learn from them. You will make sure not to do them again or like create a better path forward. So all these things happen. And what we are trying to develop and grow is like create a community uh, for MS and US aspirants which not only will define a better path uh, for applying to the universities, but once you are in the US, there will be a network of alumnus as well as people who have gone through this exact same thing. 
for example, finding on-campus opportunities, internships, mm -hmm. finding referrals for internships, jobs, immigration support, and like, what is it that you will expect? And in general, like all the things um, that can happen, or you might not have thought about it in bef like before, but someone might have gone through it here. So they mm -hmm. will be able to help you out. So be trying to create a community in that way. And um, yeah, so the main advantage of this network is that these people have been three, through these hoops themselves. So there's no one like better to help you out and um, like guide you in that terms. So currently um, we have a Discord server with I think more than 800 members and it's growing day by day. So yeah, like uh, that's something that we wanted to put out there uh, for creating this network and like helping out people. Also, I have started like uh, to be more active on Twitter and share my personal knowledge in the form of Twitter threads, as well as like, if you want to set up one, one time with me, I have a, like a top mate, uh, call service where you can set up individual time with me, discuss any blockers, confusions that you have about studying abroad in the U S and I really hope that we can help out the next generation of students and professionals coming to the U S yeah, let's see how it goes. But yeah, like, I think you can leave the links down below in comment section or like yeah, description section so it's great to hear that you know what you're doing for the community because not a lot of people will do that with a full-time job so i think mm -hmm. that's commendable so definitely you can find out the links for the discord server uh, and for pratik's uh, top mate link where you can ask him anything so check out the links in the description so so mm -hmm. thank you so much pratik for giving us very useful insights today and I'm pretty sure it will be helpful to a lot of students. So definitely uh, check out Pratik's top mate. And uh, apart from that, also the Discord community that he has made. So yeah, thank you, Pratik. So.